Welcome everyone to this week's Meet the Band Member Series. I am absolutely delighted to be joined by my friend Joel Broughton today. Joel, welcome and thanks so much for joining us. Hey, thanks for having me. Oh, anytime, Joel. We're really excited um, to have you here and thank you so much for all your support within the Rubber Band Group. You're such a, a valued and wonderful member of the, of the team. Um, but like for those who haven't met Joel before, um, Joel, tell us a little bit about yourself. Uh, okay, thanks. Hi everyone. Uh, yeah, look, I've been uh, I've been recruiting for for twenty seven years. <laughs> this is my twenty seventh wow. year um, of of recruiting, and I've done uh, agency recruiting, RPO recruiting, in house um, recruiting as well. And I've recently stepped into a a broader based HR role, but it still has got a pretty big recruiting function because we're in a growing business. Awesome. Awesome. And tell me, why did you join the Rubber Band Forum? You've, you've been with us a little while now and um, you're always, as you said, you've, you've got years of experience across different sectors and different segments. Um, so wealth of knowledge for us. But what, what drew you to join the group? Look, I thought that it was um, a group, and I was, I was actually right, it was a group that was really inclusive. It includes recruiters from um, yeah. kind of all those three areas. Um, and it was a group where everyone seems to have a voice, uh, certainly a very helpful group. You throw questions out there and answers come back, um, you know, pretty quickly. And those answers are, answers are usually pretty good too. There's, so there's a really good body of knowledge there. Um, yep. And to be honest, I was, I was probably connected with most of the people in there anyway. So, <laughs> so just kind of seeing the same people just in a different, different forum. <laughs> totally. I could get the ease of access to talent across the <laughs> agree. We're all we're all in there. But we continue to grow. I'm meeting so many new yeah. people through the group. So it's it's really exciting. Um tell me, Joel, what's one thing about our industry that you are most passionate about? Look, it's it's gotta be the uh the impact that we can have around diversity and I think that we are we're, we're in the perfect position to be having those conversations with our businesses with our hiring managers um, about increasing our DNI footprint in, inside the business like we all know preaching to the converted here that diverse businesses perform better um, you know we start having those kind of conversations with our hiring managers we start having those conversations at a more strategic level um, in the business. It's very, very easy to pull a business case together around uh, the impact of diversity, but then we can have that impact on a on a day to day basis, where it's uh, presenting a, a diverse shortlist, um, being uh, having those conversations with hiring managers about considering candidates that probably um, you know that they aren't someone they probably had in mind to start with, and and, mm -hmm. uh, and just going to market. And I, I never like to I've never liked to present just say you've got a short list of three candidates. Um, I don't think I've ever presented three of exactly the same candidates. And I think it's probably rare that I've actually presented back candidates that the hiring manager, that the hiring manager ordered, you know, at the start of the process, uh, because I've always been passionate about presenting them with candidates who they may not have thought about. Um, and for whatever reason, because uh, diversity means um, uh, like, lots of different things for different uh to sorry it means lots of different things to different people so it could be um you know social diversity or yeah, um, yeah. You know, economic diversity you know as well as the ones that we normally think about when we think about diversity um it can be um a little you can be diverse in your thoughts around diversity uh it can even be someone who um, has a diverse way of thinking and, pro and, and problem solving and you and you come across that in the interview process um, or someone who's looking for part time, and you put two candidates together in a single role, and you know all those all those sorts of things. So we've we've got we're we're in the perfect position to um, make actually quite a big impact back into our businesses um, in in doing that, and that's certainly one of the things that um, that drives me every single day. That's that's incredible. And I think, Joel, it's really important, um, particularly anyone that's listening out here. And I hope I do hope you agree with me um, on this. You know, me, I'm always mouthing up about something. But I think in this really candidate type market, it's important that we don't lose sight of us being the custodians of mm. diversity 
inclusion when we're looking at um you know talent pipelining or you know scheduling interviews as we said or shortlisting or whatever it might be it's really easy to fall in the trap at the moment going oh my god i found someone let's get this person hired you know and what that there is that real risk of um of us as talent acquisition professionals hiring a bunch of the same people because it's easier because the talent market yeah. is so tough so i'm yeah. i'm really happy to hear that you're you know still passionate about making sure that that best practice and custodian is sitting with talent for for d and i so that's that's really great that's exciting yeah and um, it, it is and i'm also really fortunate where i am like i have been in businesses before where uh you get the impression when you're talking to some hiring managers taking a job brief that they expect that there's a line of perfect candidates outside the front yeah. of the business banging on the door waiting to get in oh, um nice. Now I, I know that the that the hiring managers that I'm dealing with every day here, um, they know that that's just not true, and it's it's not about us as a business. It's it's just the reality of the market. Um, yeah. That skills skills are actually hard to find. Five hundred twenty thousand people left Australia during the pandemic, and none of them have come back yet, um, yeah. and most of them probably never will. So um, we have to be um, more diverse in the way that we think, and we have to be able to attract more diverse candidates and we have to be able to maybe slice a role a bit differently than what we what we have done in the past. And it's a really exciting time to be in the industry. Absolutely. I, I completely agree. I think it's, you know, the, the diverse diversity of experience or, mm. or, or capability, you know, looking at um, roles in a different way, looking at talent in a different way, giving people a shot to prove themselves. You know, there's, there's so much we can do and I, I completely agree. Um, on the flip side of that, mate, what's what's one thing that you would um, change about our industry if you could? You know what? The, thing, the one thing I'd probably change about our industry is us. Mm -hmm. um, I think that there are barriers between us and we put them there ourselves, like it's our own yeah. construct. Um, we have these dividing lines between RPO in-house and agency recruiters and, um, yeah. and we've got this kind of, otherism going on all the time mm. and it is insane it's insane i'm mm. not sure why why we do it i'm really glad that you know in rubber band it doesn't happen but mm. um in some groups it does right they say well you know we're an agency group so you internal people you know yeah, yeah. where mm. you know you're not us you can't join um mm. or we're, we're internal and you're an rpo recruiter you're not us you can't join the fact is that we're mm. all recruiters um uh, and if Agency recruiters acted a bit more like in-house recruiters, they might be better, and vice versa. If in-house recruiters acted a little bit more like agency recruiters, they might be better. Um, and the RPA people have got an enormous amount to bring to the table. Totally. Um, there's no reason that we can't all be um, sharing ideas, sharing ways of working, um, sharing skills, um, mm. and l leaning into each other It just makes everyone better. Absolutely. I completely agree. And I, it's, it's something that I, I go over in my head. I think there's this, this competitive nature that has existed in the past where people have thought that, you know, recruitment agencies are competing against internal teams, internal teams are competing against each other, RPOs are competing against agencies or internal teams. And I think, you know, what we're seeing is, you know, groups like Rubber Band where we're bringing everyone together and and we're not the only one, it's, it's, it's happening in other groups mm. as well. Um, yeah. It, you know, we, we all can learn from each other. And at the end of the day, um, we are all passionate about getting people jobs, right? Oh, you know, exactly, exactly. Exactly. Exactly the yeah. same. We all have the yeah. same purpose. It's providing a great experience and celebrating that call when we've actually placed someone into a role that they're going to be really successful in, regardless of, of what, what area of recruitment we work in. So the more yeah. we connect purpose and unite the better so i completely agree yeah, yeah. And what other industry does does that like if you look mm. at lawyers for example an in-house lawyer and a you know a legal firm lawyer like they're still both lawyers <laughs> same, with, same okay. with accountants and yeah yeah, yeah. Um, look, marketing is a really great example. The way mm. that um, our marketing teams partner with their creative agencies, 
they're united. They're part of the same industry. They don't compete. Um, it's mm. this competitive nature that I think we need to continue to, to break down and continue to unite. Um, so finally, um, we agree on a lot of things. We could talk for hours, but we've only got 15 minutes. <laughs> I might just, because I know we're going to keep talking. I, I would love to know for anyone that is in rubber bands or anyone that's interested in joining rubber bands, what, what advice and support can members of rubber band reach out to you for, Joel? Like literally anything. Yeah. Like seriously. Yeah. Like I'm, I'm, I'm at an age where I've, like I said, I've been doing this for 27 years. Um, you know, I'm I'm at an age where it is it's seriously it's not about me. In fact, it hasn't been about me. I don't think forever. Um, if anyone needs help, then just re reach out to me. Um, I might know the answer. I might not. I might be able to tell you where you might find the answer. Um, if anyone's looking to um, to get a start, um, if anyone's stuck um, with anything, more more than happy to help if I can. Um, yeah, cool. simple as that. Simple as that, but I love it. Um, again, Joel, thank you for, for everything that you bring to the group. Um, you're always there to um, to help with any inquiries that come in. And and like you said, you're out there asking, asking for help too. So it's That's great. Right. Wonderful. <laughs> um, someone with, with your level of experience that you're still open and curious and keen to learn and grow. Um, and, you know, that's what our community is all about. Um, so thank you so much for catching up today. It was so great to see you. My pleasure. Lovely to see you as well. <laughs> Thanks, mate. Catch up soon. Bye. Bye. Cheers. Bye.